sacred being sacred tribe welcome back to yet another video if you're new here welcome my name is monica and here on this channel i provide conscious and essential content to enlighten your life and enhance your well-being now if that sounds like something you need in your life which i know that you do be sure to join the tribe and hit subscribe okay so without further ado let's just hump right let's just hump let's just hop right into this video okay so today we are doing a bedtime yoga flow which you can do before bed to prepare your body you know get rid of just our day-to-day -day activities stress anxiety worry just a long day in general whatever might happen bring it to the mat let it go release it release the tension the energy out of your body to prepare you to have a very restful sleep so without further ado, y'all already know, before we get started, intro. So as you can see, I found a way to set up the camera if you see my short from yesterday. So I'm really excited to have like this full body view because I thought it was really, really important. Well, it is important. If you're going to teach, you need to see me. So we're going to start off today actually not centering seated, but centering standing. So I want you to come into a standing position. I want you to make sure your feet is hip width apart here. You can maybe slightly tuck your tailbone forward. Roll your shoulders up towards your ears, back and down. Press out of your fingertips. Press out of your crown here as if you could separate your head from your neck. Slightly tuck your chin and let's close your eyes. Just start to notice how you feel here. Notice your feet against the surface beneath you. Grounding yourself, centering yourself in this present moment in time. Notice your body and the way it sways. Notice how your breathing is. Is it deep? Is it shallow? Quick? No judgment. Just simply observing ourselves in this present moment. I want you to go ahead and just start to take some deep breaths here. So inhale, fill the lungs, expand in the belly. And then exhale, open on side up. And again, at your own pace, inhale, fill the belly. And exhale, and we're going to side up. We're going to do this three more times. I have two more, but wherever you are, I want you to push out any extra air in your lungs. Like you could really push it out of your system. And allow your breath to return back to normal. And just notice how you feel. We're gonna go ahead and start to bring ourselves back into our body here. Notice in just one more moment how you feel, any calmness from just practicing a few deep breaths, just centering and bringing yourself inward. And we're gonna go ahead and start off by just doing swinging. So wiggle the feet, wiggle the fingers, roll your shoulders, bring your body, bring yourself back into your body here. And we're just going to start with swinging twists, which is just simply swinging your body like this. Okay, so just go ahead and just swing gently. You don't have to swing too hard or twist too hard here. Sway in the body. Need some tension out the arms. Such a great flow before bed. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to transition. So we're going to go from here. We're going to inhale the hands up. Half moon. So your hands can be at steeple pose at the top of your head, which means your pinky, your ring finger, and your middle finger are all interlaced. Your index is pointed up to the sky and they're touching, and your thumbs are pointing behind you and they're also touching. That's steeple. If it's comfortable for you and your body, you can have one hand on your hip, so your right hand on your hip, 
Um, we're actually gonna start with our left side. So you can have your left hand on your hip with your right hand up to the sky if you have any wrist, any wrist, any wrist sensitivity. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and keep our feet hip width apart here. Press into our feet, press our pelvic up to the sky, go forward up towards our mat. Press our steeple poles or our hands up towards the sky, wherever we are here. When you get ready, take a big inhale. And we're gonna shift our hips to the right and our upper body's gonna go to the left, okay? Half moon. Press out of those fingertips here. That right shoulder, see if you can press it back a little bit. Open it up the chest, breathe, keep those feet grounded. One more breath. Inhale back up to center, beautiful job. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, take a big inhale. And on an exhale, go ahead and shift your hips over to the left now and upper body over towards the right, stretching that right side. Take that left shoulder, press it back a little bit, if you can, towards the wall, creating more stability. Breathe here, keep those feet grounded. One more breath. Inhale, come right back up to center, beautiful. Go ahead and release your hands by your side, forward fold here. Go ahead and halfway lift, flat back. Go ahead and forward fold it again. Go ahead and halfway lift. And then go ahead and forward fold. Beautiful job. We're gonna go ahead and plant our hands in front of us. We're gonna step forward with our right foot and go ahead and bring that left foot right behind us here. Okay, we're coming right into low lunge. So that left foot is gonna be behind us, straight leg, right knee directly over right ankle here. We're gonna go ahead and walk our hands back with the tops of your foot, that left foot being your mat. Walk your hands back here so your upper body is up straight. And here we have low lunge. Beautiful. You can bring your hands prayer. If you have blocks, you're more than welcome to have your blocks right here on each side. You can hold your blocks. Whatever feels right for you. One more breath. Beautiful. Go ahead and take that right hand. Bring it onto the inner part of your right foot. And we're just going to gently twist here. So we're going to go ahead and trace that right hand, that left hand up our right side body. Opening up our left side body. Breathe in here. Keep that feet, keep yourself pressed into that right foot here. Keep your hips squared slightly. Breathe. One more breath. Beautiful. Exhale, release that left hand right by your side next to your right hand. Go ahead and square your right foot and we're gonna go into runner's lunge here. So go ahead and sink those hips back, straighten out that right leg. That left hip should be directly underneath your knee. Runner stretch here. You should feel a nice stretch going up your hamstring, your calf muscles. Beautiful job. Go ahead and bring that right knee directly over ankle again. And then we're gonna go ahead and walk the foot out, left. So bring your right hand into your inner side of your right foot, and then just go ahead and walk that right foot, heel toe it out, and swing it around to meet your left knee. We're gonna do the same thing here. So now we're gonna step forward with our left foot. Left, right leg is straight behind us. Right top of the foot is into the mat. Our left knee is directly over our ankle, okay? We wanna make sure our hips are square here towards the front of our mat. And we're gonna walk our hands back until we're in an upper body position. Again, if you have blocks, fire blocks, and adjust however you need to. If you notice, it doesn't seem like my knee is directly underneath, uh, directly over my ankle, then adjust that in your body. And breathe here. You can close your eyes if it feels comfortable for you. Get a nice hip stretch here. Even building some strength in our legs. One more breath. Beautiful. You can exhale, forward fold it slightly. Bring your hands so they're meeting the squaring your left foot here. We're gonna now take our left hand, bring it into the inner part of our left foot. We're gonna go ahead and take that right hand, trace up our left arm, open it up towards our right arm, up towards the sky. Slight twist here. A low lunge variation, breathe. Keep that foot, that left foot, press into that foot as support. One more breath here. And exhale, go ahead and bring that right hand down and meet the left. We're gonna go ahead and square our left foot. Same thing as runner's, runner's lunge. So we're gonna sit our hips back, straighten that left leg. That right hip should be directly underneath that right knee. And you should feel a nice stretch here, breathe. Great job, everyone. Keep breathing. Then we're gonna go ahead and bring our left hand on the inner part of our left foot, heel toe it out again, bring it around, swing it to meet the right. Now, we're gonna go ahead and stretch out our feet. So now we should be in a tabletop position. 
All right, so you know what tabletop mean, right? I go over this in every video. So if you watch my videos, you should know what tabletop, tabletop is. We're gonna have our shoulders directly over our wrist. We're gonna have our hips directly over our knees. Everything should be about hip width apart and distance, flat back here. Now we're gonna curl the toes under. Let me turn this way. We're gonna curl the toes under here so that we can stretch the bottoms of our feet. We're doing full body. So curl the toes and just sit your hips back here and you should feel a nice stretch in your feet. Just breathe, sit back as much as you need to. Maybe you push up and then back and up and back, just creating some nice stretch in that feet. We often do not stretch our feet and our feet are so good to us. They take us everywhere. You know, like we have to be better to our feet, me included. All right, beautiful job. Come right back up into tabletop position. Go ahead and bring those tops of the foot back into the mat. We're gonna now switch our wrists and stretch our wrists out. So we're gonna turn our wrists so they're kind of facing the, the eyes of our elbows. Put it that way. The eyes of our elbows or our the wrist area is gonna be facing the front of your mat. Your hands are gonna be facing towards your body. And you're just gently gonna sit back on an exhale and stretch those wrists out gently. Breathe here. If you have any wrist sensitivity, any issue doing this, Go ahead and just maybe spend some time rolling your wrist a little bit, back and forth, um, doing something that might be a little gentler on your wrist here. Breathe, giving a nice stretch. Two more breaths. Beautiful, go right back up into tabletop. You can switch those hands so they're right back in their original position. Go ahead and sit back on your heels and we're just gonna give our wrists a little circling. And then go in the opposite direction with your wrist that you were circling. Nice. Come right back into tabletop position. We're now gonna move into cat cow. So we're gonna go ahead, inhale, drop the belly, tailbone comes up towards the sky, chest goes up towards the sky. Exhale, belly comes up, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, press into the hands. Scapulas feel like they're separating those shoulder blades. Inhale up, tailbone comes up towards the sky. Belly drops, chest fall, comes up towards the sky. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, press into those hands. And just keep doing this at your own pace for a few breaths. Inhale into cow, exhale into cat. And you can even sway with these movements here. Releasing any tension out the body, any tightness. Nice job, beautiful. All right, so find yourself right back at tabletop position. We're gonna go from here to thread the needle. So to thread the needle, we're gonna shift our weight over slightly, gently, all right, over to our right side body. If you need to at any point, you can also come on your wrist. If you have any wrist sensitivity at all, we're gonna go ahead and trace our right arm. Well, trace our left arm with our right hand, open it up to the right side of the body. We're gonna exhale, flick our wrist a little bit like we were creating a needle. And we're gonna go ahead and thread that needle right through our left side body, through that left opening, bring that shoulder down towards your mat. Beautiful job. Now you can keep your hands right here by your head, your left hand, or you can go ahead and do a slight twist and bring that right, that left hand up towards the sky. Beautiful. You can also take a bind here if it feels right and it's in your practice. One more breath, stretching out those shoulders and then go ahead and exhale wherever you are. Bring that right hand by your head, press into that, that bring that left hand by your head, press into that left hand and bring that right hand to meet. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Now we're gonna shift our hands over to our left side. We're gonna trace our right side body, open it up towards that left side, put a flick in our wrist here and thread that needle through that opening on our right side body. Left shoulder comes to the mat, right hand rests by your head. Breathe here. And again, you can reach that right arm up towards the sky or take a bind if you like. Stretching that shoulder out. One more breath. Beautiful, release it. Come right back to your side. Bring that right hand right back to your head. Press into that right hand, lifting that left shoulder up off of your mat and coming right back into table position. We're gonna go ahead and sit our sit bones back to meet our heels. 
walk our hands towards our body here and we're just gonna roll our shoulders up towards our ears and back and down. Just do some shoulder rolls, doing this at your own pace. Inhale as you go up, exhale as you go down. And then switch, reverse, go forward. If you were going backwards, go backwards if you were going forward. You can use your whole arm if you like. Then we're gonna do some neck circles. So we're gonna take our right ear to right shoulder, bring that chin towards chest, and just create some circles here. Exhale as we bring our chin towards chest. Inhale as we open up our neck here. And then you can switch your circles here, go the opposite direction. Beautiful. Next time you find your chin towards chest, let your head just hang here. Let it become heavy. Beautiful. Go ahead and inhale. Bring your head right back up towards center here. And then we're going to go ahead and open up our knees. Come sit back and just come into a gentle child pose here. Stack your fists and just rest for a moment. We have two more postures to do. Walk your hands away, press into those hands, come on up. Sit your body up here. We're gonna take a big inhale, reach out with those fingertips, and exhale as if we were tracing the sun back down. And again, inhale those fingertips up towards the sky, and exhale as if we were tracing the sun back down. One more time. Inhale, reach up towards the sky, reach, reach, reach. Stretch in that full upper body here, and exhale, go ahead and as if you were tracing the sun. Go ahead and bring your hands forward. Come up off of your sit bones, swing your feet around. And we're gonna end today actually doing legs up the wall. Legs up the wall is such a great posture. So all you need to do here is bring your sit bones towards the wall. I like to come as close as I can. And then I'll use my body to help bring me closer, as close to the wall as I can get. Let your feet point up towards the sky like so. You can let your hands rest on your belly here, one on your belly, one on your heart. And here we have legs up the wall. Legs up the wall is great, great, great for relaxing the legs. So if you've had a long day, if you've walked around all day, if you spent a lot of time walking, this is such a great box posture. It also creates an inversion in the body, which allows the blood and the oxygen in the body in a different direction. Posture builds strength as well. It's such a great thing as well to do after like a leg day workout because again, you've worked your legs. So just allow and get an opportunity to relax and release. And just let everything relax here. Notice any sensations in your body. Notice your feet, your ankles your shins, your calf muscles, your knees, your thighs, your sit bone, your pelvis. Notice your whole entire back and spine here, pressing against the surface beneath you. Notice your stomach, your ribs, your chest, your calf or your, your clavicle bones, your neck, your arms, your hands. Go ahead and relax your jaw, allow your top teeth to separate from your bottom teeth. Remove your tongue from the roots of your mouth. Relax your eyelids, your forehead, your scrunching it. And just simply be. This is the end of your day. An opportunity to start a new tomorrow and leave whatever doesn't serve you here.
on this back and into the start to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and you can gently go ahead and just slide your legs down the wall whenever you're ready. And either allow, allow your body to shift to your right or your left, wherever feels comfortable to you. You're gonna go ahead and press into that hand that's gonna be supporting you wherever you are and come up into a seated position. You can go ahead and close your eyes one more moment. Notice how you feel. When you're ready, bring your hands first and then. Namaste. I hope you enjoy beautiful beings. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and then hit that notification bell so you stay updated when I post videos like this and many others. So I appreciate all of you. And I hope that this help, helps you unwind from the day and prepare for a restful sleep. Until next time.